What is the most brutal comeback you've ever heard? My high school principal once insulted my mother's English, she's not from America. She just politely apologized for the mix up and said, I'm sorry, sometimes I get English mixed up with the other six languages. How many do you speak? My best ever. Back in the day I was in quality control, USAF. QC were the bad guys who were always checking up on how equipment and aircraft were being repaired and maintained. We were the guys who wanted to see the technical data out, open and being followed. We wore black baseball caps with white QC letters on them. One evening I wandered into the avionics building around the midnight shift change time. There I was spotted by a technical sergeant who did not like me much. He was surrounded by three young female troops, and apparently couldn't resist showing off for the man ducking with me. He said loudly, look out. It's QC, the queer chaser. I quickly replied, that's right, Sergeant Boyle, I'll give you five minutes head start. The girls all burst out laughing, and the sergeant turned red, and never bothered me again. Which one of us is a city council member? Apparently the wrong one. Me, 11 years old, debating a CC member during an election campaign. Damn son. A few years ago, my space Tom was defending Instagram when someone tweeted, says the guy that was not able to keep a social network alive. My space Tom responded, says the guy who sold my space in 2005 for 580 million dollars while you slave away hoping for a half day off. One of the greatest internet burns of all time. Check out James Blunt's Twitter feed, he's always pulling this shit on his haters. Hater, James Blunt is the worst singer of his generation. James, he's also mortgage free. I had a customer angry we couldn't take another company's gift card. He said, are you saying I can't read? I said, no, our store got sold, we can't take those anymore. The grace period ended two years ago, when he looked at the gift card again, he said nothing. His wife said, I guess you can't read after all. I wanted to high five that lady. My dad is a pediatrician. Someone said to my brother, your dad touched my balls. My brother's response was, yeah, and you paid him for it. Heard this from my brother who witnessed this after a night out a couple of years ago. On typical Saturday night, a drunk guy was standing in a long taxi line, talking trash and generally being a total douche to everyone around him to impress his lady friend for the evening. The people in line tried to ignore him for a good amount of time, but eventually they were pretty fed up with this ginger face moron. The douchebag eventually started talking to a bald guy in front of him, saying something like, I see you weren't the first guy in line when they handed out hair, to which the bald guy perfectly answered, you're quite right about that, but when I finally reached the end of the line, they only had ginger hair left, so I didn't even bother. Laughter then proceeded, and the douchebag kept his mouth shut. This is why as a ginger I keep my mouth ducking shut. Too much ammo to use against me in a hair argument. Never bring a ginger to a hair fight was out one time with a very good friend of mine, some friends and their friends. Anyway, I just happened that these two very nice looking girls were left with me and my mate, while rest of the others were getting drinks or food. We all just did the usual small talk, and then it died off, those hot girls were really not interested in us regular looking blokes. So after about 5 minutes of uncomfortable silence and ho-humming, one of the girls looking around says out loud to the other girl, making sure we hear it as well. I wonder where all the good looking guys are at? I instantly thought, you low scum bitch. As if that was not directed at us, and my mate, who had some self esteem issues, as it was just started to hang his head slowly and slouch. Without missing a beat, I retorted, they are all probably with all the good looking girls. My mate wore the widest grin I had ever seen, and I obviously had a smirk on my face I could not hide. So the two hot girls made humph sound and excuse themselves, never to be seen again. Don't know if it's true, but definitely worth posting. Arthur Wellesley, 1st Duke of Wellington, 1769 to 1852. Undefeated general, most notably victor of Waterloo. Once, when a hostess at the Congress of Vienna apologized when a group of French officers turned their backs on him, he replied, 
I have seen their backs before madam. Lady Astor, if I was your wife sir, I would poison your tea. Winston Churchill, if I was your husband, I would drink it. I may be drunk miss, but in the morning, I will be sober, and you will still be ugly, Churchill. Winston don't play. Demi Lovato, well, some people work very hard for their dreams, but it's just not cut out for them. X Factor contestant, that's why you use autotune and I don't. A work colleague was sitting by himself, and I said, are you sitting with all your mates? And he replied, no, I'm sitting with all of yours, I was quite impressed with that. I, a Caucasian, was dating a nation girl with the last name of Wang, pronounced Wong, who had a penchant for starting drama and arguments. Sick of the shenanigans, I once ended an argument with, whatever, I'm white and you're Wong. I don't think she spoke to me the rest of the night. When I was younger, my mother would take me grocery shopping weekly, and there was this cart guy who was slightly mentally handicapped, and my mother would always stop to talk to him for a bit. One day after going, this woman approached us and said, oh, I guess today is when they let all the retards out. Very calmly my mother responded, it's so nice that they let you all out once in a while. It was awesome. This one happened to me. Absolutely brutal, but hilarious. I was on a job site with a co-worker named Scott, redoing some plumbing in an empty house. We had an iPod going, and a song by White Zombie comes on. I can't remember the name of it, but the intro has audio clips of a woman having an orgasm. I yell to Scott, hey, I think your wife is here. He was sweeping up some dust after drilling a hole through some concrete, so, he scoops it up walks over, and very slowly pours it on the floor in front of me with a smirk on his face and says, Hey Pat, your mom's here. My mother had been cremated about three weeks before this happened. Wrecked. On a New York City subway car, my grandma's friend was sitting with her and as they were talking, her friend absent-mindedly started staring at a young group of men. Trying to be tough, one of them called over to her, saying, Hey old woman, what the hell are you looking at? And without missing a beat, she replied, I'm not sure, but when I figure it out I'll let you know. These two ladies are going back and forth, jokingly, when the question of possibly fighting comes up. Lady A replies, you're not worth the skin off my knuckles, and without missing a beat Lady B replies, stop dragging them across the floor and maybe you'll have some left. My own towering achievement, drunk at a dinner party. My sister and I were drawing moustaches on each other with a burnt cork. A rather fat man walked by and said something snippy about the moustaches, so I said, if you can have tits, I can have a moustache. His wife still hates me. Edit, yes, I am a female. My godfather was visiting our family, and he noticed the little strands of silver hair in my 10 or so year old brother. And he said to my little brother, that grey hair means a part of your brain is leaking. My brother sensed the opportunity and said to the very white haired man, can't be good for you. I know it's nowhere near as good as some others here, but considering he was relatively young, he's 13 now, how quick he spat it back was what made it great. I was at a local sandwich shop on my lunch break one day, and while I was eating, a man in his 20s came up to me, a male, and said hello. I kindly responded back with a hello. To which he said, you look really sharp, I was wearing slacks, a dress shirt and tie. I thanked him for the compliment, but he wasn't done. He said, I don't normally do this, but I figured I might as well give it a shot. Would you like to ever go out to dinner with me sometime? Me, being the hetero ex sil male I am, just said, thank you for the compliment, but no thank you. He said okay and walked out, leaving me to finish my sandwich. One thing about this sandwich shop, is it's right next to a high school, so high schoolers frequent it at lunch time, and this day was no different. As I finish my sandwich, I proceed to walk out. Next to the exit is a group of three guys from the local school, and as I pass, one of them looks up at me, snickers, and says, Fag. Now, how do you react to a 15 year old punk calling you a fag? You certainly can't lecture them because it will just go in one ear and out another. You can't yell at them, because it makes you look their rage. 
What should I do? Without even thinking, I turned around, looked at his sandwich, grabbed it, and took a huge bite. I chewed it slowly, put it back on his plate, and walked away not saying a word. His face was priceless, just a blank stare at his plate with a gaping mouth. All his two friends could muster out through their wheezing laughs were, oh shit. The kid never said a word. I never turned around, just walked back to my car and left. I'll be buried, but it's a good one, and maybe one person will read it. A guy from my building is sort of special, and he talks to himself a lot, but not much to other people. One day, a co-worker of mine asked, talking to yourself again Kenny? Ha 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 ha, stupid laughing. Without skipping a beat, Kenny replied, better than talking to you Mark, and just kept walking down the hallway with no other response. Gough Whitlam, former Prime Minister of Australia. When Sir Winton Turnbull, who represented a large rural seat, a slow and sometimes stumbling speaker, was raving and ranting on the adjournment and shouted, I am a country member. I interjected, I remember. Sir Winton could not understand why, for the first time in all the years he had been speaking in the house, there was instant and loud applause from both sides. When I was at work one day, I was a cashier, and overheard a man yelling at the service desk about another one of our employees. Spouting off about how we were terrible, and how our workplace hires idiots. My supervisor looked him dead in the eye and asked if he wanted an application. Really late to the party, but buddy of mine is at a Blue Jay vs Yankees game. Sitting down the third line and yelling at Yetta, Yetta you suck. You're a bum. Yetta turns around, glances, and says, yeah, I really wish I had your life. My buddy used to get in bar fights in his early 20s. Whenever somebody started yelling insults at him and getting aggressive, he would calmly let them finish their verbal rampage. Then, as everyone waited to see how he would respond, he would smirk a little and sarcastically say, nice haircut. Something about that drove the other person mad. Always ended in a fight. I was once in a hotel elevator headed down to the lobby. I took out my phone to get directions to the bar where I was meeting my friends. A woman in the elevator, who was part of a group of people I don't know, sneered at my phone and said, Ugh, I hate technology. To which I replied, then why aren't you taking the stairs? Her friends erupted in laughter, and she was completely destroyed. Philip of Macedonia, father of Alexander sent a message to Sparta, you are advised to submit without further delay, for if I bring my army into your land, I will destroy your farms, slay your people, and raise your city. The Spartan reply, if. Philip and Alexander avoided Sparta entirely. I was with my family at the zoo gift shop. Went to buy some geodes that I could break open with my kids. Wife asked me why I would pay that much, $5, for a rock. Told her I paid more for the one on her finger. Rock purchase no longer contested. Not verbal comeback, but, I saw these Tachora type girls arguing. I see one of them lick her thumb, and with a flick of her hand, smear the other girl's eyebrow. The smear got her ass beat, but we all know who really won that one. Girl 1, I can drink a lot, I'm French Canadian. Girl 2, I'm Irish, I can drink more than you. Girl 1, yeah, but I can stop. Girl 2, oh, you know when to quit? Sounds like you're more French than Canadian. I tried. Guy at my work screwed up royally on a conference call. His boss was on the line listening in, shaking his head in disapproval. Immediately afterwards, the boss walks up to the guy, and the guy says, I know, I know. I'm kicking myself in the ass already. Without missing a beat, the boss says, well stand up then so I can kick it for you, because apparently you can't even do that right. A good friend from school, Mike, had grown up really poor, but was bad with money anyway, and was known for always being broke and blowing his money on crap. Once we were out at Wendy's getting some food, and we dared him to eat a pile of onions in exchange for a junior bacon cheeseburger. He did it, but was still hungry, so he started begging my brother for 5 bucks to buy a meal. No man, I gave you a dollar for the junior bacon already, said my bro. Come on man, just give me 5 bucks, I'll pay it back. 
he never had money to pay it back. They went back and forth for a minute, before my friend got pissed and yelled, damn it, someday you'll be broke too, and I'm gonna have a bunch of food, and I'm not gonna give you a damn bite. Without missing a beat, my bro calmly says, but Mike, how are you gonna get any food if I don't have any money? Edit, I should add that Mike gave us as much shit as we gave him. It sounds like we were taking advantage of the situation at his expense, but that wasn't how it was. He pretty much lived with me and my bro during the summers in school, because his family kinda ostracized him for being the normal one, I wish I was making this up. His family was like the most backwards, backward family imaginable. They weren't the worst people, and had their issues to deal with, but I'll never understand why they treated Mike like a burden. The dude is still like a brother to me. My father, a Vietnam veteran marine, in an armed robbery. Get on the floor. No, it's dirty. I have a gun. Son, I've been shot before, it doesn't hurt that bad. Slightly baffled, the gunman continued the robbery ignoring my father, 